Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Paychecks and Prayers. Here on our channel, you'll see some cash shuffling videos of our expenses, some savings goals, and occasionally we'll do a cash condensing video and exchange our real bills for prop bills to then take back to the bank. Please stick around and join me on our video today. Well, hi friends, how's it going for you today? Today is finally the cash condensing video for the month of February. We'll be recapping today all of our binders and jotting them down here in our sinking funds trackers. So yeah, let's just jump right in and get started. I did withdraw $1,000 to help us in $100 bills to you know just exchange some smaller bills into larger bills and we will be taking out some money from our high priority low priority and vacation binder to that so that way i can take some of that money back to the bank and put it into our savings account so yeah without further ado let's just get started starting off with our high priority binder let's go into annual fees i know i wanted to take some money out i think i have about 500 dollars that i want to take out of here so one two three four five hundred is going back to the bank and with this 500 dollars bill prop placeholder i will swap it out for a one thousand dollar so now we have one thousand one hundred twenty forty fifty five this $1 bill will go into our savings challenge. So 1,120, 40, 55, perfect. Ending balance is 1,155. And between the two, minus a 10, that was a positive change of $345. Next month, I will be splitting this out anyways and distributing it between annual pass and subscriptions. So stay tuned for that. Association, I did want to take back $200, but we have 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 30, 50, 70, 90, 310. So $310. Oh, I don't have any change yet. So let's skip this one and we'll come right back to it so that I can take out some smaller bills and put them on the tray. Let's see what we can do here. So car insurance, I should be taking back 200, 51, 50, 200. Let's see. No, I can't do anything there. So 200 is coming out. We are putting 200 in prop in, but we already have one, two, three, four, 500. Okay, so let's do this. We'll keep this one in one, two, three, four, 500 coming out, and we'll get a prop bill of 500. Perfect. So five, six, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So 660 in car insurance, and we'll come back to this one to condense some more. Alrighty, and 660 minus 152 is a positive change of $508. All right, car maintenance. We are taking back $500 from here. One, two, three, four, 500. So let me put a $500 prop. Okay, there's that one. And then we have one, two, three hundred, fifty, seventy-five. So in total we have eight hundred and seventy-five in car maintenance. Alrighty, and the difference between eight seventy-five and four forty is a positive change of four hundred and thirty-five dollars. Oops. I did not do that one correctly, did I? I never wrote what association was, I think. So this is all wrong. Oh boy. What do we have in association? So let's go back. We had 150, 70, 90, 210, 30, 50, 70, 90, 310. So let's update that to 310. And that was a positive change of 158. 
knew there was like something weird going on because he had huge jumps. <laughs> and this one had a positive change of 220. And this one had a positive change of 400. All right, now we're on track. So let's go quickly to car registration, which is up next. This one has 20, 45, 50. So there we go. We can do something there. So 20, 45, 50, and we can grab a $50 bill, 50, 55, 60. So we have $60 in car registration. And that was a positive change of 20. Costco has 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. So let's exchange that for a $100 bill. Alrighty, and then 100 here, and that was a positive change of 100 from last month. Household has $5 left, so put the ones out for our $1 bill savings challenge, and let's just grab a better five. So five for household. Alrighty, and then that was a negative change of $5 from last month. Toiletries has 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars. So let's trade this in for a 20. And I'll just keep a better 10. So $80 in toiletries for February. And that is a positive change of 25. All right, medical is ending the month with 1,000, 2,000, 1, 200 that's in the bank, 40. So $2,240 for medical. And that was a difference of $60, so a negative 60. Dental is ending again with $1,000, so there will be no change there. Vision, however, we did unstuff it, and if you did miss out on my unstuffing video, I will link it in the cards up here for you guys so you can check it out. But we ended the month with Vision at $125. So let's trade in those 220s, I'm sorry, the 210s for a 20. So 125 for Vision. So from 1,670 minus 125, we had a negative change of $1,545. Riley is ending the month with 152.55, so 255, and I will take these ones out for a $1 bill savings challenge. Let's see, am I doing, no, I'm not taking anything out. So we can just condense this one for a $100. Yeah, so 255 is what he has. And he is ending the month with a positive change of $130. Month ahead, we are taking some money back. It has one, two, three thousand, one hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five, ninety-five, two hundred. So we're taking this back to the bank and we are grabbing another one hundred dollar prop. So in reality, we have three thousand two hundred dollars for month ahead. Perfect. So 3,200 and that was a positive change of $100. Our just in case envelope still has our $1,000, which is our emergency fund. And that means that there was no change there, which is good. So let's go ahead back up front here because I think I did wanna condense some of this. So yeah, 20, 40, 50, we can trade this in for a 50. Let's see. Association was the one that I wanted to take money out of. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 210. 
So we are taking back a 10 and to $100 of prop. So yes, we have $310 for association, which is correct. Perfect, and let's see here. We have five, six, so we have 20, 45, 50. So this is 50 and two fives is 60. So let's do that. Let's put this all down and grab $60. So that is correct, $660 for car insurance, and that is fully condensed in there. I don't know if we fully condensed car maintenance, so let's take a look in there. So these are good, yeah, so $875 is correct for car maintenance, and that is fully condensed. Alrighty, I think we did fine then. Okay, this one we can do a 10 just to give it a little bit more condensing in there. Costco has 100, five toiletries has 80, okay, not too bad. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and tally all these numbers up and let's see how much we ended for the month of February in our high priority binder. So we ended this month with $11,065. Perfect. So that means, so $11,187 minus $11,065. That was a negative change of $122. Not too bad. Let's move on to our low priority. Alrighty, so starting off with Manifest, I do know I want to take some money out of here so that we can put it into our savings. Manifest has $1,100 in the bank, and this should be $100 we'll be taking out. $20, $40, So let's grab a prop. And that means we have $1,200 for Manifest. Awesome. Ending balance, 1,200, positive change of 100. Perfect. Anniversary, I believe I'm gonna take all this out as well. It has 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. And we will be putting that into the bank. So currently it has $100 in our savings for anniversary. Sorry, just need to straighten this out, okay. 100 and that's a positive change of $100 in there for beauty we have 100 20 35 45 50 so we can do that and we'll keep that 10 so this should be 50 25 35 45 50 take this all this down and grab a 50 so we have 50 65 just grab a better five. So 165 for beauty. And last month we had 225, so that was a negative change of $60 from last month. Oops. Alrighty, for cheers, we finished the month with five, 10, 15, 20 dollars in cheers. And that's what it has, 20. Oof, all of these bills are not the greatest. So 20 in there. And that's what we ended the month with. So positive 20 for that one. Now for clothing. We are left with one, two, three, four hundred fifty-five. All these ones I will put out and put it into our dollar bill savings challenge. So that's perfect. Four hundred and fifty-five for clothing, and that will stay in their cash. Alrighty, and that means we had a change of fifteen dollars. So a negative change of fifteen total. 
Date night is ending the month with 50, 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars. So we'll trade that in for a 100 dollar bill. Perfect for date night. Alrighty, so then that means that that was a positive change of 30. Perfect. In gardening, we have 10, 20, 30, 40 dollars. So I'll put this down and grab two 20s. So 40 in gardening. And that was a positive change of 40. For gifts, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, so $200 total for gifts. So we'll grab another 100 and we'll leave this in cash. And yeah, we'll just do that. We have two 100s, perfect. And that was a positive change of $100 in that one. For going out, we have 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100 as well. Alrighty, and we will also leave that in cash. So that's what it has, $100. And that was a positive change of 100 as well. Hobbies is ending the month with 20 but we will be changing this next month to the buffer envelope, but we will just reconcile it this month and then hobbies will be going away soon. So $20 in that one. And that's a positive change of 20. Alrighty, home decor has 100, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, so $200 total. Let's just grab another 100 and I will leave this as cash as well. So 200 in home decor. And that's a positive change of $100. Hosting will be ending the month with 200. So let's grab two $100 and we will leave this as cash. Okay, so 200 in there, and that's a positive change of $200. Splurge is ending the month with 1, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we will grab a 50, and that is ending with 250. So 250, and that's a positive change of $40. Technology is ending the month with 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. So we will grab two 20s. So 140 for technology. And that means that's a positive change of $40 in there. Our YouTube envelope is gone, so we are not counting that one in this um, condensing. So yeah, that's it for our low priority. Let's go ahead and tally everything up. So let's go ahead and tally everything up and see what we are ending the month in February for our low priority binder. Alrighty, so in our low priority, we are ending the month with 3,190. And if you subtract that from last month of 2,375, we have a positive change of $815 in this binder. Not too bad. Next up is a very fun binder, the Vacation Binder. I love this. And one of you did ask me where I got this beautiful binder from. I got it from a website called Binrad. And I clicked on the... Um, the link that I have in the description below and they are no longer, I think that just the website is shut down for whatever reason. So I'm really not sure who else is reselling these, but you know, I am so sorry. <laughs> I just, that's the website that I bought it from originally. So I do not know who else is selling these. But anyways, for airfare, we have one, two, three, four, five, $600 total. We'll be taking all of this cash back 
And let's just leave a $100 bill and grab a $500 prop. Let's grab one of the new ones. So five, $600 in there total, representing the money we have in the bank. So ending 600 and that's a positive change of $200 in airfare. Speaking of, we did purchase some flights, so I'll be talking about that pretty soon. We have in lodging five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety. So this is one thousand ten, one thousand thirty. So we'll put all this down and grab a one thousand dollar prop bill. Oops, that goes in there. The fifty, and we'll also grab a ten because we are ending with 1,030 in this envelope. So 1,030, and that was a positive change of $390. Let me just double check that really quickly. Yep, so that is correct, 1,030 in lodging. Just wanted to double check myself. <laughs> Excursions is ending the month with 220. So we are taking back this $100, and let me go ahead and put in a prop bill. So we have 224 excursions. Sorry about that, you guys. My husband just walked in through the door and, of course, had to pause the video. <laughs> so, anyways, we left off at excursion. So, we had 220 in there. And the difference between the two is $80. So, that's a positive change of 80 For food and drinks, we have 120 40 60 80 200 So, put this down and grab a prop $100. So we have $200 for food and drinks. Okay. And that's a positive change of $80 as well. Alrighty, for transportation, we have 120, 40, 60, 80, 200. So let's grab another prop and transportation has $200. Okay, let's see. So that is a positive change of 80 as well. Souvenirs has 120, 40, 60, 80. Okay, so all of these have 200. Not too bad. So 200 for souvenirs. That's also a positive change of 80. For spending, we have 120, 30, 40, 50, 60. So $60, this should be 20, 30, 40, 50, so we'll grab a $50 bill. Okay. Not too many decent 50s, I guess, so we'll just grab the best one. 160 for souvenirs. So that was a positive change of $40. For tips, we ended the month with 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 160 as well for tips. Okay, so that was a positive change of $40. And for spa, we have 130 still. We did not cash stuff that any farther because I think I'm just going to use that as like a beauty category for when we go to Canada. So we really only gave that $10 for the month of February. And miscellaneous is ending with $100. So there was no change there. And okay, so that's the condensing for that one. 
Let's go ahead and count out to see what the total ending balance is for our vacation binder. So we ended the month with $3,000 in our vacation binder, and that's a positive change of $1,000. Alrighty, jumping in into the holidays binder. So for New Year's Eve, I believe we still have, yep, we have $200 still for this one. So there was no change there. For Valentine's Day, we did have a dinner that we ate. So these $2 bills, we'll take them out and put them aside for our $1 bill savings challenge. So we ended the month with $115, rolling over for the next year's Valentine's Day. Okay, so $250 minus $115 is a negative change of $135. For Easter, we are ending the month with 150 in there, so there was no change, because Easter is upcoming. Mother's Day, however, has 120, 30, 40, 55, 56. So 156 for Mother's Day, and we're still working on that one. So that was a positive change of $30. Father's Day, we're also working on. It's 50, 70, 80, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 5, 30. 130 dollars. Okay, so we'll trade this in. 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 80, 90, 5, 100. Okay. So let's grab a $100, $100 bill. So $133 is what we have for Father's Day. So from 89, 133 minus 89 is a positive change of $44 for Father's Day. 4th of July has 50, 65, 75. So 75, 76, 77. So let's see. Should be 20. So let's grab a 20. All right, so that's a good 20. So $77 for 4th of July. So 77 minus 65 is a positive change of $12. Halloween, we've been working on slowly as well. It has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. So let's grab a 20 and trade this all in for a 20. Oh no, I think I have to take out five. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five ones, I think. Oh, uh, I guess I'll just figure it out at the end. I know I was taking out some dollars to put into the dollar bill savings challenge and I just realized I mixed it in. We'll figure it out at the end, I'm sure. So Halloween ended with $21. Okay, let's write that down. So that was a positive change of 13. How fitting for Halloween. <laughs> Thanksgiving, we just started and it has five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars. Let's just get some better bills. It's a better five and we'll grab one, two, three, four better ones. All right, so nine in Thanksgiving to kick us off for this year, perfect. So that's a positive change of nine in there. Christmas should have a small change as well because we did start cash stuffing that one. It has one, two, three, 400 in the savings, 20, 35, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So let's leave all of this behind, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 
this going down and we will grab a 50. Perfect. So 459 for Christmas. So that is a positive change of 30. Perfect, we condensed our holidays binder. Let's see what our ending balance is for this one. So we ended our holidays binder with $1,320. So that really is just a positive change of three dollars crazy right now let's go into our boat binder in here i did want to take some money back to the bank let me stretch out this binder so starting off with repair and maintenance i know i wanted to take some money out we have five six hundred in the savings 20 40 60 85 95 this is a hundred dollars that i wanted to take out and put into our savings that way we don't have this money just sitting around. Alrighty, so we have $700 in there. And that's a positive change of 100 for repair and maintenance. Registration has 125, 35, 40. So we'll trade this in for a 20. 140 for our boat registration. And that was a positive change of 20. Equipment is ending the month with 1, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95. So this is all together another 100. We can take out and put it back into the bank. So we will grab a prop and in here we have $300 for equipment. Very nice. Alrighty, so 300 there. That's a positive change of $60 for that envelope. Gas has 125, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48. And this is separate and I will go over that in a future video. So 120. Let's see, 25, 35, 45. So I could just leave a five and a 20 and grab a 20. And I'll take out these ones. So let's just grab a 20, put that in there. So 145, I'll take out these ones for a $1 bill savings. So 120, 45, all right. So they did spend some money out of there. 145 out of 350. So they spent $205. And I say they because it was him and a few family members, his dad, his cousins, and they had a blast. Fishing gear has one, two, three hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, four hundred. We'll take we'll trade this in for a one hundred dollar prop. Okay, so 400 in fishing gear so far. Alrighty, and that was a positive change of 100, or sorry, that was a positive change of $80. Alrighty, for miscellaneous, we're ending the month with 125, 35, 40. So we'll trade this in for 20, and that's 140 in there. So that is a positive change of $20. Awesome. Alrighty, and that's it for our boat binder condensing. I just realized that this negative one, I didn't put it in red, so that's a negative 205. All right, let's quickly give this a tally and see what we have in there. So in total, we have 
$1,825 in our boat binder. And if you subtract that from last month, that's a positive change overall of $75. Between these two binders, so $1,320 for our holidays binder, $1,825 for that, for our boat binder, our subtotal for this page is three thousand one hundred and forty five between the two binders and that means that that was a positive change of seventy eight dollars overall and in here in my business binder for starting off with taxes we have 50 70 90 110 so let's condense that down to 110. Perfect. And that is a positive change of $69. Alrighty. And in subscriptions, we have 50, 70, $80. Just grab a better 50. So $80 so far for subscriptions. And that is a positive change of $20 from last month. P.O. Box has $50.75. Let's get some better bills. Alrighty, so $75 for P.O. Box. Can't wait to have that. So that was a positive change of 25. For supplies, we have 125. So I'll trade this in for 100 and some better bills. Okay. So 125 in supplies. And that is a positive change of $115. Equipment is ending the month with 50. Okay, so that is a positive change of 30. Marketing is ending the month with $20 in there. So let's grab a 20. Okay, I grabbed a good one. So 20 in marketing. And that's a positive change of $10. Giving is ending the month with 40. Okay, and that is a positive change of 20. Savings is ending the month with 20, 40, 55. So we'll trade this in for a 50 so 55 for savings alrighty and that was a positive change of 35 investments has 20 30 45 so I'll just trade this all in for a 20 and a better five. Awesome. And that was a positive change of 35 as well. For YouTube, it is ending the month with $10. Alrighty, and that was a negative change of 10 there. Perfect, this one is fully condensed. And now let's tally up all of these and see what we are ending the month of February in, in our business binder. $600. Perfect, and that was a change of $349, you guys, awesome. Now going into our savings challenge binder, 
Oh boy, I should have done, I should have separated the ones from here and now I can't tell. Now I can't tell what ones belong to the $1 bill savings challenge, but we'll skip that one for now. In our $5 bill savings challenge, we saved 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So we'll trade this in for a 50. Alrighty. So $70 in our $5 bill savings. And that is a positive change of 40 from last month. $10 bill has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110 dollars. So let's trade this in for 100 dollars. So 110 in there. And that was a positive change of $70. Perfect, for the $20 bill savings challenge, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160. So this should be 120, 40, 60, 80, 100. Perfect. So 160 in the $20 bill savings. That means that was a positive change of $80 in there. Alrighty, for the 100s we're no longer doing, but the $1,000 savings challenge is ending the month with 1, 2, 3, 4, 450, 70, 90, 510, 30, 50, 70, 90, $600 total. So we will trade this in for $200. Perfect, so one, two, three, four, five, six hundred total. So that is a positive change of 200. For our $500 bill save, I'm sorry, for our $500 savings challenge, in here we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, so 205 dollars. We'll leave the five and we'll trade this in. Alrighty. I'm just trying to keep the bit, the better bills up front. So 205 in there. So that's a positive change of $100. For our 52 week savings challenge, we are ending the month in here with 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75. 175 dollars. So we will trade this in for a 50 and a 20. There's a 50 and a decent 20. Perfect. 175 in there. And that is a positive change of $60. Very nice. I will come back to the $1 bill savings challenge. So let's skip over to our mystery scratch offs, which is in our second binder of our savings challenges. So for the mystery scratch off, I'll need a running tally here, so I'll use my calculator. For the first one, we have 50, 60, 70, 85, 90, 91. So I'll need two 20s. And I'll trade this one in for a decent one. So let's grab two 20s. So 91 in there. 
in the $400 savings challenge, we have 120, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85. So 185, so we'll leave this. And this should be 20, 30, 40, 45, 50 dollars. Let's grab a 50. So 150, 70, 85. Perfect. We're up to 276 for our mystery scratches. All right, and last one is from the 600. Mystery scratch off, we have 150, 70, 90, 210, 30, 50, 55, 60. So 260. Let's trade this in for a $100 bill and a 10. Okay, oh, that one's better. So 100, there we go. So $260 for that one. And that's a total of $536 saved. Wow. And that is a difference of $246 when in this month for the Mystery Scratch Off Challenge. Very nice. For Roll the Dice, we managed to save 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 92 dollars so keep the best 20s 20 30 40 50. some 10 so let me grab two better ones so 50 70 92 perfect Alrighty, so for the roll the dice, 92 was saved, and that is a positive change of $48. For Stuffopoly, we have 150, 70, 90, 210, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So this is $302. One fifty, seventy, ninety, two, ten, thirty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, five, ninety, six, ninety, seven, ninety, eight, ninety, nine. Yep. So this is one hundred, one fifty, one seventy, one ninety, two, ten, thirty, fifty, seventy. Yeah. So this is three hundred dollars. In other words, let's trade this in for two hundred of it. Alrighty, so 300, let's grab better ones. So $302. Oops, 302. And that was a positive change of $160 I went into Stuffopoly. For the beautiful savings land two, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 30, 40, 55, 50, ooh, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 72. So this is 272, or sorry, 172. 50, 70, 90, 110, 1. 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Yes, $172. All right. We're just keeping the best bills. So this is 20, 40, uh, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So we'll trade this in for a $100 bill. Alrighty, and that goes into savings land two. So 172 minus 
the Nundi one from last month. That is a positive change of $81. Awesome. Next up is the rainy day savings. We ended with 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 25. So 125. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 100. Trade this all in. Sorry, $100 bill. And 125 is what we have for this one. Perfect. So from 125 minus 65, that's a positive change of $60. For our $1,000 savings challenge, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 50, 70, 90, 6, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90. So this is 700. Yes, this is $700 in total. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 725 is what we have saved. And let's see. That is a positive change of 155. Is that correct? Yep, I guess so. Alrighty, so let's do this. We have one, two, three, four, five hundred. So we need two hundred dollars, and then we will leave twenty-five of it. So it should be two hundred fifty, seventy, ninety, one, ten, thirty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, five, ninety, ninety, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is correct. Two hundred dollars here. Alrighty, so taking in 200, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 725, which is correct. And lastly, we are working with our I Am Enough Savings. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, so this is 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, well, I'll put this down and grab two 50s. 20, 30, 40, 50. 20, 30, 40, 50. And I'll put this back and grab a $50 bill. Alrighty. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred and fifty dollars $750 in our I Am Enough Savings Challenge. And that was a positive change of $200. Oof, we were able to condense this one pretty well. Alrighty, let's go back to the $1 bill savings challenge. And what I'll do is, at the end of our count, the off dollars, I will put it into the $1 bill savings challenge for next month. But let's just count to see what we have saved so far for the month of February that's in here already. Look at this, you guys, and we went three times around. That's a lot of ones. So let's see how much we saved for the month of February in our $1 bill savings. We have 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 81, 82 dollars saved. Very nice. So let's do this. So 82 is what we saved for February, but in combination, 
So 72 plus 82 is $154 saved so far for our $1 bill savings. That's crazy. So let me grab one, two, three, so four decent ones, I will do that. So 54, and I'll set these ones aside. Oh, it's okay, let's just combine it. We're gonna have to figure it out anyway. So that will go in there. And we need $100. So just grab two 50s and that's 51, 51, two, three, four. Perfect. So that's everything in there. So, so far we have $154 saved in our dollar savings challenge. And like I said, that was a positive change of 82 for the month of February. Awesome, you guys. And that is really condensed. I'll wipe this off and start it off for the month of March. Here it is. All right, now we can tally up our savings challenges. Let me go ahead and do that for the first one. So it looks like we are ending the month with $1,474 total. And that was a positive change of $632 for this binder, the first one. And the second binder we have $2,000. $702 saved, and that was a positive change of $950 for this one. So $1,474 plus $2,702 is $4,176. So from last month, that is a total positive change of $1,582. That's awesome, you guys. All right, I believe we are done with all of the tracking that we wanted to do. So let's go ahead and quickly tally up all these bottom line numbers so we can get our grand total of savings across all of our binders. So in total, we have $25,186 across all of our binders. And that is a difference from last month of $3,702 of a positive change. That's awesome, you guys. Look at that. This is everything we will be taking back to the bank. I do believe I have to take out $1,000 from the total because that's what we initially put in there. But look at this, you guys. That's crazy. This is a lot to count, but I'm excited to count it out with you guys. All right, so from my initial count and everything that I was taking out, we should have a total of $3,000 going back to the bank plus the $1,000 that we took out. So $4,000 is what we will be taking back to the bank. And the remaining ones will be what I'll be taking out and putting in for next month for the dollar bill savings challenge. So to help me out count this, I will use the sort quick from Erica at Black and Blue because these are a lot of bills, you guys. Let's start off by counting the first denomination of 50s. So we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 450. We'll use our calculator. Let's do the 20s now. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. So this is 500. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 
20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. So this is 1,000. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. So this is another thousand. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So this is 200. All right, let's keep going. So for the tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. So that's 500. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 220. So far we are up to 3,370. Let's keep going. Oh boy, so for the fives, I'm going to need to split this up. All right, we have 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, so this is 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. Let me just recount that. Yes. Alrighty, and the remaining fives we have 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45. Perfect. Alrighty, and now for the ones. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So it's $50 there. Alrighty. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 50. So in total in here, we have $4,015. That means that 15 ones of these are going to be taking out and putting into our $1 bill savings challenge for next month. So we did our numbers correctly. 3,000 of it is what we took out of our cash binders to put into our savings. And the $1,000 that I took initially out, I'll put it just back into our checking to replenish our buffer. If you guys did enjoy today's cash condensing video please give it a huge thumbs up to support my channel it truly means the world to me don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my future videos i truly hope that you enjoy and i hope that i inspired you to you know start your cash stuffing journey and that you hope that you learn something along the way thank you guys again for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video god bless mm -hmm.